removing the litter from the carrier. The Foxtrot litter is stored rolled in its carrier. To remove the litter, grasp the carrier with one hand and the litter with the other and pull. It will then slide free of the carrier. To remove the memory from the plastic litter base, the Foxtrot can either be back rolled or you can use the patient to secure it. First unroll the litter 2 to 3 feet. Place it on the ground and hold it in place with your knee. Roll the casualty away and tuck the litter underneath. Roll the litter the rest of the way down the casualty and place the casualty's feet on the litter. Then position the casualty in the center of the litter. Methods for securing the litter straps. To utilize method one, route the webbing through both D-rings. Fold the strap back on itself Press the straps together to secure the patient. Method 2 is recommended if you will be lowering a casualty down a stairwell or down steep terrain. Method 2 requires you to route the straps back through one of the D-rings. friction created by the D-rings will secure the patient. Methods of securing a casualty's arms. To secure an unconscious casualty, place his arms on his stomach. Then secure the chest strap over his arms. The waist strap is then placed over the patient's wrist or arms and secured. To secure a conscious casualty, route the waist strap. Have the casualty raise his arms and secure the chest strap around his chest. The casualty's hands are now free to maintain control of his weapon. The head straps are secured in the same manner as the other straps on the litter. Tightening these straps lifts the front of the litter and reduces resistance when dragging over soft terrain such as snow or sand. Securing the individual leg straps. To use the individual leg straps, route the strap under the casualty's leg. Go around the leg and back through the D-ring. The strap can then be secured back on itself. Securing the casualty's weapon. To secure the casualty's weapon, first remove the magazine, clear the weapon, and collapse the buttstock. It is then placed between the casualty's legs and secured with the individual leg strap. The leg strap is routed around the buttstock of the weapon, through the D-ring, and back on itself. It is then secured with the foot strap.
removing the drag line. To remove the drag line, pull the protective flap and pull the storage pocket free of the litter. Remove all slack. When all slack has been removed, place the drag line over your shoulder and drag the casualty. To share the drag line with another rescuer, free the drag line from its protective flap. Free some slack from the storage pouch. The second rescuer then secures the portion of the drag line that runs through the top of the litter. Free all of the slack, even out the loops, and move the casualty. The same technique can be used to shorten a drag line for a single person rescue. Moving a conscious casualty. A conscious casualty can still provide security if he is secured to the litter properly. Connecting the casing to the litter. To connect the casing to the litter, first connect the snap link to the webbing. Route the snap link to the rubber handle. After the casing is connected, back up until there is tension on the sling. Continue moving to the rear while pulling security. Storing the Foxtrot litter. To store the Foxtrot litter, the handles should be placed out and the straps in. Start rolling from the foot of the litter as tightly as possible. Remove any debris that may be on the litter as you roll. Wrap the head straps around the litter and back on top of themselves to secure the roll. Tightening the roll. To tighten the roll of the litter, Insert your hand to the center of the litter. Grasp the internal handle and the external handle and twist. Adjust the tension of the head straps to maintain the roll. Storing the handles. To store the handles, place the rubber handle as far back on the webbing as possible. Fold the rubber handle in half and insert into the center of the litter.